The Isenheim altarpiece was painted by Matthias Grunewald sometime between 1510 and 1515. It was displayed in an Antonine monastery that also served as a hospital, which specialized in the treatment of a disease known as St. Anthony's Fire, which was caused by the consumption of a fungus-infected rye. The altarpiece depicted graphic scenes of intense suffering, but at the same time served as a means of helping the sick through their illness. For example, the iconic image of the crucifixion in which they would see Christ with the same afflictions that pained them and served as a comforting reminder that God was with them in their time of suffering. The altarpiece folds out into three separate stages. The first, which is the closed position, shows the iconic crucifixion scene where we see Christ in the center and on one side Mary is sort of swooning, collapsing into the arms of St. John the Evangelist. Mary Magdalene is seen at her knees with her hands outstretched towards Christ. And on the other side is St. John the Baptist with his finger pointing towards Christ. And at his feet is the sacrificial lamb. On either side in the wings we see the Saints Sebastian and St. Anthony. And at the bottom, in the predella, we see the scene of the lamentation. The second stage of the altarpiece, which opens up, shows, when read from left to right, the Annunciation scene with Mary and the Archangel Gabriel, the musical angels, the Nativity scene, and the resurrection of Christ. When the altarpiece is fully opened in its third stage, we see an encarved wooden shrine of St. Anthony enthroned, and on either side are Saints Augustine and Hieronymus. And below is also an encarved depiction of the Last Supper. On either side in the wings are the scenes of the meeting of St. Anthony and Paul the Hermit, and on the other side is the temptation of St. Anthony. So after we see all the scenes that are depicted in the altarpiece, we can take a step further back and look at the hospital context in which it was shown and understand its meaning and function. First and foremost, we can start with the crucifixion scene in which we see Christ embodying the state of disease and illness. And I think that's what the patients at this monastery would have identified directly with. And it's extremely graphic, and you get an intense sense of pain and suffering, which we can see in these close-ups. placement of Saints Anthony and Saint Sebastian on either side of the crucifixion is also key here in that Sebastian represented the saint who wards off the plague and illnesses while Anthony's goal was to care of those was to be the care of those afflicted with the plague and together they established the themes of illness and healing as a central meaning of the altarpiece. We see Mary Magdalene with her twisted fingers outstretched towards Christ, symbolizing her anguish and a public recognition of loss. Looking at the system of signs in the altarpiece, we see St. John um, serves as sort of the intermediary between Christ and man, as seen from his perspective, which he's shown straight on, uh, whereas the other characters in the crucifixion scene are seen more from above, and obviously Christ from below. And 
His gesture both commands and serves as a bridge to Christ. And so this dual property um, serves as a, a functioning model, so to speak, for the way these motifs relate to one another throughout the altarpiece, where these interpretive associations derive from this process of looking. That was a quote. And uh, also his foot seems to overlap the hind leg of the lamb, almost becoming the hind leg, showing his support for Christ. And the lamb itself, obviously representing Christ's sacrifice being the sacrificial lamb, is bleeding into a chalice, which is on a vertical axis with the chest wound of Christ and the lamentation predella directly below it. And continuing with this idea of everything being related to one another on a vertical axis, when the central panel is opened from the crucifixion to the nativity scene, uh, we see uh, Christ supported by Madonna on a vertical axis with the dead Christ supported by John the Evangelist. So this interweaves the state of Christ's birth with his death. The use of the written word is also employed by the artist in each stage of the altarpiece to underscore the visual meaning. So in this scene of the temptation of St. Anthony, on the lower right-hand corner is a message on a piece of paper which translates to, where are you, good Jesus? Where are you? Why were you not there to heal my wounds? Which were Christ's words to God at the crucifixion. And this serves as a compositional counterpart to the diseased demon on the left. So the demon thereby embodies the written word. In the crucifixion scene with uh, St. John and his iconic pointing gesture towards Christ, the words behind him translate to, he must increase, but I must decrease, which is to remind the sick at the time that the physical body is only temporary. In a close-up view of the panel showing the meeting between St. Anthony and St. Paul, we see a bunch of plants which the artist used as a way of identifying the actual herbs used to treat the sick and showing this as a cure for the disease is also a visual counterpart to the diseased demon which we saw previously in the temptation of St. Anthony. So when both wings are shown together in this respect we can see the medicinal herbs juxtaposed with the diseased demon. Lastly I want to end on this image of the diseased demon and the temptation of St. Anthony, which I think is by far the creepiest image in the entire altarpiece. For several reasons. First off, it's I think this is what the patients at the monastery had looked like. They had showed these symptoms of boils, distended stomach, and withered limbs, and this also had to have been based on direct observation by Grunwald. And um, this, at this time, disease was seen as a manifestation of sin. So Grunwald was combining human and demon-like qualities together. And um, as, a, as sick patients were looking at this, they had to have identified directly with this and so
seen it definitely as a sign